okay, I got to do this and I got to explain this as best way as possible. Because I'm getting ready to tell everybody what really happened from the very beginning of this whole thing between Will Smith and Chris Rock and Jada. Because y'all need to know what's, what's going on. And I'm not trying to be harsh at Jada, but again, she's just as equally responsible for this. Okay, I'm holding all of them accountable for this. Okay? Because I think this could have been handled very differently. Both of them didn't handle this well because Jay didn't have to take it that harsh. It was not harsh at all. He said G.I. Jane. So I'm going to read to you first what a Navy SEAL is because that's what G.I. Jane is. She's a Navy SEAL. I'm going to read to you what that movie is about because nobody really saw that movie. Let's just be honest. How many of y'all who are basically trying to talk down to me, right? You trying to argue with me actually watch G.I. Jane, the first one. Because when Chris Walk told her, uh, I look forward to see a G.I.J. 2. He was hinting that she should do that movie. Now, and I'm going to tell you the reason why Will did it. Because Will is making it about alopecia. That's what he's trying to do. This, do right? He's trying to get sympathy to justify what he did wrong. Because he knows he screwed up. Okay? So, this is not about what Chris did to Jada. Because Chris didn't do nothing wrong at all. But what's going on, this is this got something to do with a beef that goes back in 2016. When they decided to boycott the Oscars. And Chris Rock continued to do it. Because, again, that was his bag, that was his money, that was his dream. But let me just break this down, because I'm, I'm going to do this before I uh, go into service. Because yeah, I'm going to have to preach, I'm going to have to show y'all what the devil does. Because this was all Satan. The Satan was inside Will. So when Will is talking about God and everything, he's in the wrong. Okay, but let me let me just say this right now. So I'm reading in America's Navy.com, right? This is Navy SEAL. It says, this is, this is about what a SEAL is. I'm going to give you the definition. You see, by the time you find out a SEAL team has hit you, they're already gone. It takes a special kind of person to qualify for this role. And if you do, you better be ready to prove it with your smarts, strength, willingness to march head on into impossible situations. Because your team is the one they're going to call in for the last ditch recon uh, reconnaissance. Yeah, reconnaissance. I hope I um, said that correctly. Missions. Yeah, reconnaissance missions. And operations that never happened. One day you'll be swimming out of a torpedo tube. And the next day you could be dropping into enemy territory out of a helicopter. It takes intense courage to be a Navy SEAL. And that's what makes them the best of the best. If you have what it takes, then the Navy is has a place for you among the ranks of the elite. So, a Navy SEAL is elite soldier. That's what it means. Her hair is shaved like... Demi Moore's character was in G.I. Jane. Now, let me read G.I. Jane. Because me, I do real research, okay? I'm going to give you the real. I'm not going to give you nothing fake, okay? Now, this is the storyline. When a crusading chairperson of the military budget committee pressures the world be Navy secretary to begin a full gender integration of the service, he offers the chance for a test case for a female trainee in the U.S. Navy's elite SEAL CRT Selection program. So remember, they said U.S. Navy Elite. Okay. Lieutenant Jordan O'Neill is given the assignment, but no one expects her to succeed in an humani humanely punishing regime that has a standard 60% dropout rate for men. However, O'Neill is determined to prove everyone wrong. So just check this out, right? So he called her. You see, he said, uh, I love you, Jada. I look forward to seeing J.I. Jane too. He's informing that she can play this type of role. You know how honorable it is for a woman to be a Navy SEAL to fight amongst these men? What she was trying to prove, what Lieutenant Jordan O'Neill was trying to prove that even though I'm a woman, I can play with the big boys. They can shoot an M16. I can do it too. They can throw a grenade. I can throw it as well. There's nothing I can't do as a woman that they can. They, they are doing. Just because they do it don't mean that I can't do it. She wanted to prove that she could serve her country in the elite. Okay. That's what he was referring to. He was nice. Come on now. Chris Rock is one of the original comedy kings. When Chris Rock started his career, Chris Rock was among Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, Bernie Mac, Ronaldo Ray. Okay? Uh, even Martin Lawrence, right? Uh, and shouts out to AJ Johnson, right? These are all heavy hitters that he was amongst. Uh, okay, so let's just cut, cut it for what it is. Chris Rock got a lot harsher jokes. I've been watching Chris Rock for a long time. And I'm not agreeing with everything Chris Rock says or does. Come on now. Because I feel they all could have handled this differently. But what I'm saying is, that joke he said was very, 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 very light. Come on now. If Chris Rock really wanted to play hard and be dirty, 
He would have brought up an August Asina joke. He would have brought up a her going with different men behind Will Smith back. But he didn't do that. He was respectful in their marriage. So let's get this out the way now. This is not about what Chris did to Jada. Okay? Let's get this. This, this is use common sense right now. This is your brain. All right? Because if you think for a second, I want you all to pay very close attention. Yeah, and I'm talking to all you who disagree with me, right? Who tell me that is telling me the STFU, all right? You want to be disrespectful to me? Check this out, right? For those who say I have a problem with women, no, 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 don't, 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 don't throw that up at me. If you think for a second that um, Chris Rock was trying to be disrespectful at the Oscars where his job is on the line, because when you do a job like he's doing, they tell you the rules and what you got to follow and they tell you the procedure, okay? If you think for a second that he did that because he knows she has alopecia, you in the wrong. They got you mind controlled, okay? You, the media officially has you under their control and they can tell you what you what they want you to do and you will believe them no that was not the case at all stop it stop it stop it okay will smith had no excuse to go up there and slap that man or oh, keep my name my woman's not out your effing mouth no he was in the wrong for that okay let me take y'all back to the beginning now will and jada originally wanted to boycott the oscars because they didn't like how black people were treated which i agree with I wasn't watching the Oscars for years after that. Especially after they did it with Chadwick Boseman. I didn't agree at all because Chadwick Boseman deserved those awards. Okay? I don't like how they were doing that at all. I don't like... Because I, I felt they were too biased towards black people. And even um, Tyler Crater was even saying it even, even with the Grammys and music. They're too biased. So I didn't watch the Oscars at all. Okay? So let's just keep it real. I didn't watch none of that. Alright? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't watch... I didn't watch any of that. Okay? So, again... When she said boycott it, I was right with him. But she got mad at, uh, they got mad at, um, Chris Rock because Chris Rock, they, they wanted Chris Rock to host the Oscars. And Chris Rock continued to do it anyway. So they're saying, when everybody said, let's boycott it, Chris Rock said, no, I'm not going to boycott it. This is my dream. I want to do this. Right? I'm getting paid. I'm making money. I want to do this. This is an achievement for me. So because Chris Rock did this, Jada hated him for that. And that's when Chris Rock made that joke about Jada. But Jada let that go. When Chris Rock said that things about Jada at the last Oscar 2016, she brushed this out. Okay, he's just under a lot of pressure, right? So she let it go. She didn't get angry at him at all. They let it go, okay? But for some reason, Will Smith held that in, okay? So again, they let that go, right? That, that was a problem. Why now they do this, okay? Because again, he, he, he continues to do the Oscars. So because they want him to boycott it, they still felt some type of way about it. This don't change the fact that for the last two years, okay, Jada been going with younger men behind Will Smith's back. So the real the reason why Will Smith snapped at Chris because he's getting tired of the jokes. He's getting tired of everybody making fun of him and his wife. But yet she been doing the entanglements. This is a man, this is a woman who had Will Smith crying on that TV show or on a podcast or whatever, right? Will did not put the same type of energy towards August Alcina. August Smith has actually said out of his own mouth, I'm gonna continue to smash Jada and have her, her take care of me. She's going to be paying my bills. I'm going to be giving her this good. You know what? I'm going to keep it clean. I'm not going to cuss. I'm going to do all this. Behind Will's, uh, when Will was off doing movies, he was bragging about it. He, that man was getting real cocky. Will is getting tired of open relationships. You can tell. The man don't like it. The man don't like that. He feels that Jay's not respecting marriage. So, again, this is about him being frustrated. Because out of all the Oscars, and I watched Will his whole career, acting career, out of all the Oscars, he's never done this. Okay? So, there was no excuse for him to do this. So he wanted to act ghetto at an event that big and slap a man, right? Now, notice nobody is um, punishing Chris Rock at all. Why? Because Chris Rock did nothing wrong. I commend Chris Rock for being the bigger man because Chris Rock could have easily went back and punched Will and that would have been a fight. But no, Chris Rock held his ground, but he's pissed off. Chris Rock is mad as hell because he didn't get a chance to defend himself. But Chris Rock did the right thing. He took the high road. Okay, so if Chris Rock is in the wrong, if you if you and Jada had a problem with him, what Jada should have did was, okay, you can get angry, but don't let Will do that. Because a real one would have told Will, don't, don't get on stage, what are you doing? They should have just checked Chris Rock when the show was over and go to the back with that. And if Will Smith want to slap Chris, you should have went to the back. But what Chris did, don't say what, uh, Chris, now all Chris did was tell a joke. Chris didn't do, really do nothing wrong. All he did was tell a joke. Right, he compared it to G.I. Jane and said, "He said Jada, 
I love you. This is what Chris did say, Jada, I love you. I look forward to seeing G.I. and Jane 2. Now, before I continue for Jada Pickett to do G.I. Jane 2 would be honorable. You know how inspiring that was to, for black women to see that? If she was to do something like that, because Jada is capable of doing it. She's in good shape. And Demi Memoir has reported that she has to he, she had to train for that. But to see Jada to do it at her age and play a lieutenant and lead a platoon, lead an army and, and fight against a mission and her shooting machine guns and doing missions and punching and kicking somebody. Right. And leading an army and leading, a, uh, leading an army to victory. That would be amazing. See, instead of overreacting, had they not overreacted had Jada not felt some type of way with a brush it off, she could have got offered a role to do that. But Will took it upon himself to get angry, right? Get pissed off because you want to take your anger out on somebody else. And you hit somebody that's literally in you. You hit somebody that's smaller than you. And what did he do? Oh, my wife's condition. I, 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 he said the very and, and notice, right? You apologize to Chris the very next day and you, you try to say, oh, it's because of my wife's condition. But that had nothing to do with it. When you, when you accepted your Oscar and won it, you had the nerve to apologize to everybody else, but you didn't apologize to Chris. Meaning, you got a grudge against that man. You and Jada still hate that man. You didn't let that go. Okay? So, again, this is not about her disease. Y'all need to stop it. And stop trying to put, stop trying to say that I'm the, I'm, I'm the guilty one with Chris. Will is the one who made all this happen. Had Will not did this, not done that, I wouldn't even be having this conversation. I'm trying to let y'all know not to stop listening to the media, everything the media tells you. You don't got to listen, believe it. When the media tells you to do something, you ain't always got to do it. Because Will's publicist is trying to make it seem like Chris attacked it with a condition. That ain't the case. Chris Rock knows better. Now, let's, let's listen to what Kareem Abdul-Jabbar got to say. Because he said this very, 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 very good, man. It made a great statement, right? Let's see what he has to say. And this is the same Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that originally uh, fought against, uh, fought for civil rights with Muhammad Ali. Right in that summit, way back in the '60s and '70s, right? NBA icon Kareem Abdul-Jabbar slammed Will Smith for his attack on Chris Rock during the Oscars, writing that that the King Richard star advocated violence, diminished women, and perpetuated stereotypes about the black community. In a Substack essay posted Monday, the all-time scoring leader broke down the many ways Smith inflicted harm by slapping Rock for a joke about white Jada Pickett's shaved head. And which, by the way, before I continue, black women shave their head all the time in Africa. Y'all saw Black Panther. That's an actual tradition for black women to shave her head. Okay. Okay. Black, there are black women in uh, Africa that are beautiful. That's a tradition. Okay. For them to shave their head. Black is beautiful. Okay. There ain't nothing wrong with that. They do it all the time. Right? So they ain't, they ain't, that's no excuse, man. Like, because if that's the case, if Jada felt some way, she either, she didn't have to show up, okay? She said she was going to boycott the Oscars. Or she could have wore a wig. There are plenty of people with alopecia. They ain't making a big deal out of it. Okay? That's not the reason why, that, that's not the reason why he said that. Now, just, I'm just going to put that out there, okay? Will is making it seem like that because he, he needs sympathy. He wants the excuse to justify what he did. But let, let me continue, okay? Let me let me continue. By hitting Rock, he announced that his wife was incapable of defending herself against words. Abdul Jabbar wrote, "This patronizing, paternal attitude infantilizes women and reduces them to helpless, helpless damsels. Needed a big, strong man to defend their honor, lest they swoon from the vapors." He explained. Okay, let me let me continue. The six-time Emmy champion who appeared on Smith on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in 1994 says Smith's self-serving acceptance speech for his Best Actor Oscar in which he spoke of protecting women in his movie King Richard was about justifying his violence. Apparently, so many people need Smith's protection that occasionally it gets too much and someone needs to be smacked or Judge Jabbar sniped. The writer wrote that the black community also felt Smith's blow. One of the main talking points from the from those supporting the systematic racism in America is categorizing blacks as more prone to violence and less able to control their emotions. Abdul Jabbar wrote, Smith just gave comfort to the enemy by providing them with perfect optics they were dreaming of. So what Abdul Jabbar is trying to say, Will Smith did exactly what the white supremacy wanted him to do. Put violence towards another black man. Okay? 
Again, that was out of line. Now let me continue. The shocking incident unfolded when Rock was pretending was presenting the best documentary award. He cracked to pick a smith that he looked forward to seeing her in G.I. Jane 2. The real G.I. Jane started Demi Moore, who shaved her head for the 1997 role. To join the military, you gotta shave your head. That's the rule, y'all, for the men. She shaved her head because she said, I could compete amongst these men. I could equal myself amongst these men because I could do what they do. Now, women have rights. They like, there are women who feel they, they could be equal to a man anyway. So that's women empowerment there. That's celebrated women empowerment. And for a black woman like Jada to have that type of role, that can inspire a lot of young black women to succeed in life. Okay? America needs a movie like that anyway. But y'all don't see it that way at all. No, no, no. Y'all see negativity. You only see one side of it. Okay? That is the issue there. But Will Smith took the zinger personally because his wife has been suffering from hair loss, causing apoplexia. He walked up on the stage and struck Rock across the face, then yelled him, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. Substack noted that Smith had apologized to Rock and called his own actions unacceptable since the essay was published. But notice, Will didn't do a video, right, like I'm doing. He did not, he did not apologize to Rock on stage like he should have been, but you apologize to the white folks. Okay. Notice he apologized to white folks. You apologized to another black man. You brought shame to our community by, by doing that. Will. And again, a piece is her condition is treatable. I just told y'all that. Will making it like this is a terminal illness. No, it's treatable. She can gain her hair back. There's a chance she can do that through men. There's procedures she can take to do this. Okay. So we gotta stop trying to put the blame all on uh, Chris Rock. Y'all gotta stop doing it. That's what the media wants you to do. Will Smith was being used by the devil. Now, I'm going to tell you what Wanda Sykes had to say, because she was the female co-host. They, now, they had Chris Rock, and they had Wanda Sykes be a black and female co-host, right? This is what she had to say. Say, Oscar host Wanda Sykes weighed in on Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, saying she thought it was gross. The actor was allowed to stay in the room and collect his award after the slap. Sykes, who co-hosted the, the Amy um, Schumer and Regina Hall, also revealed that Rock told her shortly after the incident. Sykes stopped by the Ellen DeGeneres show, and re uh, counted her version of the events on Sunday. By the time she got backstage to watch, uh, to watch Rock hand out the Oscar for Best Documentary, she saw Smith leaving the stage. Then she heard the King Richard uh, star yell profanities from his seat. She said, is this really happening, Sykes thought. I just felt so awful for my friend Chris. It was sickening. It was absolutely, I physically felt ill, and I'm still a little traumatized by it. Me too, the degenerate said. So again, y'all got to say, you can't be acting like that at that type of event. That was the wrong place. That's the wrong time. Again, if Will and Jada had a problem, they should have took that backstage, took Chris to the side, go to the back room in private where there's no cameras around. That would have been the smarter thing to do. Okay? Whether Chris Rock was wrong or right, then you don't do something like that. You make us look bad. Because this is what white folks now saying. Right? This is what they think about us. They said, we don't know how to act. Will is, is justifying why they don't give you the Oscar. Because he say you don't know how to act. We, black folks don't know how to get along. We savages. We too emotional. We, we, we don't know how to put our feelings aside. We don't know how to talk things out and, and negotiate. This is why these other thisies don't respect us at all as our black community. These Jews, these Jews, right? The people from India that come in here and get in their business, right? These Koreans, the Asians. They don't respect black people. Why? Because they fear us. They scare us but what the TV portrays us as. We got to do better as a society. Me, I'm not going to be controlled by the media. No, I'm somebody who looks at everything in every angle. Again, the real problem is Will and Jada. They need to address their marriage. Will got problems in the bedroom. Because this is the same Jada Pickensmith that revealed Will's personal business to the world. That he ain't pleasing her right. And this is why she's been going these tangles with younger men. So, Will, you really mad at Jada. You're not really mad at Chris. You want to take your anger out on Chris. But that was unacceptable, brother. Now, have y'all know Will Smith is in a lot of problems right now. He has issues, right? So again, my post is to show y'all something. That everybody wants to treat Chris Rock like the enemy, but the real villain is Will. Will act out of line. Because there's other ways you could do this. Okay? As much as people talk about Jay-Z, Beyonce, Jay-Z would have never done that. Why? Because Jay-Z know what they think of him already. They already think he's a thug. They already think he's a criminal because a man comes from the Mossy Projects in New York. But Will, Jay, uh, Jay-Z would have never done that. Or Jay-Z would have took that to the back. He would have waited till the show was over to catch Chris alone then did that. Okay, so we need to stop playing, stop acting like that man is a victim. 
Jada too. Jada is just as responsible for this. Because our actions the last two years is what's got real frustrated. Okay? They need to address their marriage. And if Jada don't want to be a Will no more, she needs to say it. If Will Smith don't want an open relationship anymore, he needs to be flat out and say that. Okay? And stop acting like a fool. Okay? That's it, y'all. So I'm just addressing that now. Okay? This is the reason why I'm, I did this. Because y'all need to see what's going on. Okay? Will Smith messed up. Not Chris. Because if Jada Pickett does G.I. Jane 2, that would be amazing. That would be inspiring. That's what the world needs to see in this trying times. A female soldier leading her army. A elite. A Navy SEAL is strong. There's a lot of female Navy SEALs. Go talk to them. Which most of y'all don't because we too busy playing the victim. We're we too busy trying to put blame on somebody else. No. We were just trying to use his wife's condition. Right? Disease or whatever you want to call it is an excuse to slap this man. But no. Her disease is not key, it's not leukemia, okay? It's not cancer. She's not gonna she's gonna survive this. Okay? And he did not do this because she has a pigeon. Okay? You knew the you knew the rules going in there. Everybody gonna get roasted on. Okay? You, you gotta have tough skin. That's just no excuses for that. Okay? Y'all need to they y'all need to cut that out. Because the main people that might like to make me look bad, they don't challenge me or debate me when I go live. Again, if you got a problem with me, we can always go live. We can always debate this out. Okay? But I'm explaining. And telling y'all off the top, Jada's Pick and Spill still got beef with um uh, uh, with uh, Chris Rock for doing these Oscars when they wanted everybody to boycott it. Because Chris Rock didn't boycott it, he continued to work with them um white folks. That's what she's pissed off about. Okay? That's why Will did what he did. And it stems also for the problems they got going through with their marriage. Right? That's what this is really about. Okay? And if Chris Rock, because Chris Rock didn't press charges, the LAPD was ready to arrest Will. Now, Will Smith would have got arrested for this. That would have been his own fault. But Chris decided not to press charges. But that don't mean Chris Rock not going to go at this man in his stand-up. Okay? Because, remember, he does have a stand-up in Boston. That's coming up this weekend. All right? And I'm curious what he's going to say. But, again, y'all, I got to clear that up. Okay? I don't hate Jada and Will. I forgive them. But, again, Will Smith brought up God in that Oscar speech. You can't talk about God and you slapping another black man, your own skin color, in front of the world like that. That doesn't work like that. You can't mix God or the devil. The devil told him to do that. That's Satan. Satan gets in your mind. He makes it seem good because he does it through imagery. The devil told him to do that. Oh, go ahead and smack. Yo, Will, go ahead and smack him. You know you want to do that, right? You Will Smith. You A-list celebrity. Oh, they're going to forgive you, right? He was wrong. He was out of line. That's why Denzel Washington brought up when you at your highest point is what the devil going to come for you. All right? Again, there was nothing wrong with him saying... Wanting, uh, wanting Jada Pickett to do G.I. Jane 2. Nothing wrong with that. That would make uh, Jada Pickett play a role of a strong female elite soldier. To be a Navy SEAL, that's not hard to do. That's a test that you got to take to prove you're the best to serve in our army and to protect our country. It's not a day that don't go by that I don't thank these military soldiers for what they've done for us and their service for this country. I got family in the military that have passed away. Rest in peace to my uncles Larry... Bernard and Cassidy, they have all served in the army. Shouts out to my fraternity brothers of Tonga National have served in the military and are currently active serving. Okay. Shouts out to my cousin D. John McGriffey for um for being in the military too as a Coast Guard. Right? Again, I understand. There's nothing to be ashamed about. That was not a bad, that was not a ball headed joke. He thought it was a fashion statement because she could have easily wore a wig. Her hair is not completely gone. But again, there are black women in Africa that shave their head all the time. They don't even have that. Because it's beautiful for them. It's a tradition for them. Black is beautiful. Those are some of the most beautiful women in the world. Again, Will should never overreact it. Okay? Let's get that out the way now. That's not my fault. He effed up. He did this. Okay? Again, y'all, y'all, we gotta we gotta use our brain. So before y'all come at me, go watch G.I. Jane the movie. Go watch that movie. Go read what that movie's about. Okay? Because Chris Rock was hinting that she should do that movie. Jada should have took that and called her agent and called the manager, you know what I'm saying, talked about getting that movie going. That's what I would have done. Instead of fighting with the man, why don't y'all, they come to agreement. And I say, there's better ways you can do this. But we got to stop encouraging black on black violence because that's what the media portrays. The media wants black people to fight amongst public like that. That's what they want. They feed into that. Kareem abdul jabbar come for era. Black folks had to get along. They had to come together because they were fighting amongst a common enemy. Okay? So again... I take this stuff seriously. I don't play around with it. I don't. Okay? Will, you're out of line. Jada, you're out of line. You don't do that. Jada should stop Will the moment instead of letting him go embarrass his, 
him and his family. The man embarrassed West Philadelphia. You don't do something like that at all. Period. Okay? You don't do black on black violence. That's what the so-called white elites want you to do. Why they sit back laugh at us. And you wonder why they don't take us seriously. You wonder why these officers keep doing what they be doing. Because we don't take ourselves seriously. That's got to stop. Stop it. What Will did was a punk ass move. Excuse my language. That was a punk ass coward move. You don't do that. Okay. So again. I got to break that down. Because I love my black people. But we got to change ourselves. Okay. That was out of line. That was wrong. That was embarrassing to all of us. What Will did overshadows what other black people did at that night. Because it took Will's whole career to get the Oscar. But now people are talking about him negatively. Look at this black man. This is an angry black man. He assaulted another black man. That's all you're going to hear. You got Shannon Sharp weighing on it. You got everybody weighing it. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Everybody's talking about it now. Because of what he did. You brought shame to our community. And have Chadwick Boseman, right? Forrest Whitaker, Denzel Washington, right, to have Maya Angelou, Cicely Tyson, all these black entertainers, James Brown, all do what they did for you to do that. That's terrible. James Avery would not approve of that. Shouts out, rest in peace to Uncle Phil. He would not approve of that. We got to stop acting like that. But y'all want to get mad at me? No, get mad at him. Because had that not happened, I wouldn't have to do this video and keep breaking that down. But I do things for a reason. Because that's what God told me to do. Y'all need to see through it. Stop letting the media control your minds. The devil has a way of controlling the media to make you go against another black man. They want you to applaud that. That's why I don't watch growing up hip hop. I don't watch loving hip hop. I don't watch that trash. Got battle getting drunk, acting 